Welcome to HQ, Orange Blue. Today, Today I, would I would like to talk, talk to, you to you about, about omnipartisan partisan politics. So you can have partisan politics. And lots and lots of people like to give lip service to bipartisan politics. Now what does bipartisan mean? It means two parties, right? One party, a second party. If they work together, it's called bipartisanism. When they do not work together, it's called partisanism. Here in the US, our politics are controlled by the duopoly. The duopoly is the two controlling parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. Now often, they are partisan in that they push back and forth and fight each other like two little boxers in a boxing match. Team Blue, Team Red, Team Blue, Team Red. Occasionally, they like to pretend to be bipartisan, where they sort of try to work together. Most of that is false lip service. But the much better, more progressive, and happier way to run politics in the US would be to be omnipartisan. 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 How do we get to an omnipartisan politics? First off, we have to deal with the control of the two main parties. They like to pretend that they're always on opposite sides and fighting each other, except for occasionally when they try to, as they say, cross over or reach over the aisle. But the thing they always have in common, and the thing they're always willing to work with each other on, is how to maintain the duopoly. Because ultimately, that's the most important thing to the two controlling parties. Leaders of the Democrats and leaders of the Republicans want to maintain a status quo because it keeps them in power. So even though as they fight each other over certain issues and love to make big speeches yelling at the other side, they also quietly come together and figure out, work out, plan out, possibly conspire to keep that controlling party status. But now when it comes to each side talking to the people in their parties, the voters, the citizens, active Democrats and active Republicans, they always talk about party unity and fighting the bad guys, fighting the bad guys, and how you have to either be Team Blue or Team Red. That's their public face. But the private face, the concealed face for the two parties, especially among the leadership, is to figure out how they can work together to maintain the duopoly. Our responsibility as citizens, our right, our needs, our desires, should all start with the idea of breaking up the duopoly and creating an omnipartisan relationship among people with different points of view, different agendas, but that they can come together and think, well, we don't agree on everything, but we aren't a professional basketball team playing against another professional basketball team. We aren't two boxers. Sports metaphors should be kicked out of politics. We do not need analogies to sports to teach people how to live a life.
to be a, a civic and to be civil and to be active citizens. We need to boot out all of the sports metaphors and concentrate on how groups can work together and be omnipartisan. They can come together like this. And we need to come to understandings of how we can disagree and still work together. But it will be nearly impossible to work together and to achieve that greater level of civility and an interest in being good citizens. It will be nearly impossible to achieve that until we get rid of the duopoly.